Welcome guys. Um, let's go ahead and help you to create auto messages on WhatsApp. Now, auto messages are those messages that automatically send whenever somebody tries to message somebody. Now, there is two types of uh, automatic message. The first one is uh, the welcome message and the second one is the auto reply. I'm going to show you guys how to create both of them. Now, let's get started. You click on your WhatsApp business area and then you click on your business tool or this tool area on the le bottom left. Now you scroll down to where it says greetings. This is the greeting. For this one, you just need to um, edit the existing greeting and also make sure that this is enabled to actually send greeting messages. But if it's like this, it's going to be disabled. Now if it's disabled, it will not send, send a welcome message. So go ahead and enable this. And once you enable it, you can go ahead and edit this. Now you can see it says send message to everyone. We are going to come to that. So you first click on this pencil icon and you edit the message. I already have this edited the way I want, so I'm not going to edit anything. But for your case, you can just highlight everything and then you type. So um, I'm not going to save it because I think I'm okay with the previous one there, so I'm going to cancel out. But then for your case, after you finish typing, you click on OK and then it's going to save. Then for the recipient, you click on this area, you are going to see more information. Now on default, it's set to everyone. Now, you can actually accept this because most times when you are sending messages, um, your personal friends or your friends actually get annoyed whenever they receive this message. If you have this kind of friend group that get annoyed, go ahead and select everyone not in address book. So whenever somebody sends you a message for the first time, they will receive this. That is what this second option means. And then the third option means you send it to everyone except some particular people. And then the third option means you send it to a particular person. Now, if you click on this area, you are going to see a list of all the contacts on your device. So you can select who you do not want to receive these messages from. So I think I'm actually okay on the default. Now, the last one, you can actually select the people that you do not want to actually see the message. Now, hope you understand. It's going to send this to the people that you selected. And for this one, it's going to send it to the people that you deselected. It's not going to send it to the people that you are selecting right here so that is actually what they mean but on default people like to use this everyone now let's go back to the next one so um i'm going to discard because i do not want to save anything i changed right now now for the away message now the away message actually happens when you are offline but then you have internet but you are offline that is actually how it works this particular one so you click on the away message and then right here you make sure that it's active right now is currently active but you can disable it if you do not want it but if you click on this and it's this way that means it is already enabled now to start editing this click on the pencil icon and like the previous one you can say thank you for your response uh we are unavailable right now uh but we are going to respond soon so but then to make this even easier this is actually an idea to make this even easier um, how about you say, uh, thank you for your message. Um, we will respond soon. But you can visit our about our FAQ, FAQ for more information. So now you leave a link, HTTP, and then you leave the link to uh, to where they can read more of the FAQ. This is actually going to be easier and save you a lot of time by them reading and then uh, maybe getting the information they want on the FAQ. But if they do not get it and you start chatting with them, it is go just going to make your work easier. That is actually what this is for. So it's a quick reply message, depending on what the person said. Maybe they are asking questions and then you'll be like, send that message and automatically they receive it. But then after a while, you respond to them and then you answer. Basically helping you to do your business even while you are offline. Now, this KDO option is actually what is most important. Now, for this KDO option, you can always send this message anytime the person sends you the message. And you can also do this option to say, send this message 
um, outside business hour because after outside business hour you are probably not active but during business hour you are active you can always reply that is you have a standby person that is always going to reply to your customer because your customers getting message instantly is actually more important than leaving them idle because they can wait for you and they didn't get any message they will just walk away and look for another person to do business with and custom time you could actually choose custom time and then you set the custom time choose the date and the month if you want to choose the year you can choose this particular year and then to change the month you click on this month area forward you can see august september and all this stuff when you're done you click and then you do next and then you set the exact time and then you do done so you do the same thing with your end time also and again you select the people that receive this message you can do it for everyone you can do it for everyone not in address i think the best option is for everyone not in address but these ones are just uh, uh, very difficult to decide. So I think the easiest one is people that are not in your address book. So you select that. Once you're done with everything, you hit save and it's going to save it up. So these guys is basically what I want to share with you on your auto reply message. And then how this works, I do not want to save it. And then how this works is that whenever you receive a message, right? Whenever you get a message from, let's say this person, they are going to automatically receive a message saying, um, thank you for reaching out to us and so, 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 so. But this is actually my friend. So this person is not going to receive this message. The only person that gets to receive this message is only people that are not in my contact list. And as, as usual, anytime you want, you can always go back and then you edit this setting. And whenever you do not want it to, to be active, you can always disable whenever you want. And even though you disable or enable, your settings or your edits are all intact you can see it right here yeah all intact. so guys um let me know if this video is helpful and for further questions leave it on the comment section i'm hopefully going to answer that and i'm going to see you on the next one stay safe guys and peace